of OB divination or even how one is able to benefit from the practice. Here we're going to cover a few basics and help us to understand some fundamentals about OB divination, its origins, and how one is able to practice and gain a benefit from this within their everyday life. Let's go a bit deeper. So of course before we can talk about OB divination with Kyrie shells, we most definitely have to tap into the, some of the origins of the practice of OB divination within itself. So traditionally, Ifa practitioners or Risha devotees, we utilize Obiabata or Kodana to offer appeasements to Orishas, to our ancestors, to Ifa, and so on and so forth. We also use the Obiabata as a divining tool to confirm that the offerings that we give to Orisha and our ancestors, etc., that they have been accepted, as well as to gain any further knowledge or guidance from Orisha, ancestors, etc., through uh, the interpretation of the cast of the Obiabata. So, of course, as time and history pass and we go through cultural adaptations, slavery, all kind of other changes and shifts, most definitely we learn that our practices of Obi divination can still be practiced and the uh, interpretations uh, of spirit's messages can still be derived through utilizing other apparatuses, i.e. the Kyrie shells, the coconut shells, the coconut backing, so on and so forth. All in all, what we learn through practice and through time and history is that no matter the apparatus that we choose to utilize the practices of Obi Divination, the interpretations of the caste and the understandings of the systems within the practice of Obi Divination, they remain the same. So why is Obi Divination so important? Now this question most definitely is twofold. For the Orisha devotee, for the Ifa practitioner, Obi divination is most definitely a fundamental practice in understanding uh, one of the divining systems within the whole cosmology of Ifa and, and the practice of Ifa. For the traditionalist, for the devotee, Obi divination is basically our primary source to have a direct line of communication with spirit. And within the practice, we know all things through reciprocity. So as we are praying to spirit and asking spirit to open doors and move ways and remove obstacles, we also should seek the advice of spirit to guide us on how to move forward within our own character and within our own capacities while patiently going along our journey for the manifestation to, you know, waiting for that to happen. In understanding the processes of Obi divination, um, one also gains insight into the fundamental basis of all of the systems of divining or divination within the practice of Ifa. Obi divination most definitely sets the fundament for all of the other divining systems or modalities of divining and divination within the practice of Ifa. So with that being said, of course, it's imperative for the Orisha devotee or the Ifa practitioner to learn Obi divination as well as seek to learn the other systems of divination within the practice of Ifa in its totality. Now, Obi divination for the person that is not within the tradition or who is just a novice or one who is just... Um, who just wants to learn of the practice of Obi divination within itself. So Obi divination beyond ritual and beyond the perspective or lenses of the devotee, beyond just the aspect of devotion. Most definitely Obi divination within itself, as it is a fundamental system, it can be utilized and practiced by many people who are not even within the tradition. Uh, the benefits for what Obi divination offers one can still be beneficial for one who is not even within uh, the tradition or or a uh, devotee um, within the aspects of Orisha worship. For one, the practice of Obi divination offers one the ability to uh, gain insight into the best course of action along their journey. Uh, if I have a question about um, if I should do this or if I should do that or if I should put my energy towards this or that, most definitely it can help one to gain insight. Uh, as any divining tool can help one to gain insight or some foresight into any matters. 
and in mastery one can most definitely use OB divination as a tool to help fine tune and cultivate their relationship with spirit as well as with themselves um, as we understand energy and how energy flows uh, particularly through the divination system so to reiterate some of the benefits from the practice of OB divination number one and most importantly this is our direct line of communication with our spirit guides on a very fundamental basis this is our direct line of communication with our spirit guides as we speak to spirit most definitely spirit speaks back so we understand this through the laws of reciprocity as we give so shall we receive and vice versa these are certain aspects of such as well we never go to spirit bombarding spirit with our worries with our burdens and with our needs needs without also allowing time for spirit to divinely guide us through the interpretations of the cast. Uh, another thing is it helps us to build our spiritual connection with our spiritual implements. For those Orisha devotees, practitioners, Ifa practitioners, and so on and so forth, it is imperative that as we are um, taking care of our shrines, taking care of our ancestors, so on and so forth. Most definitely, we are building a bond with these shrines, with our spiritual implements, and OB divination is one way to help to build that connection uh, through the aspect of communication with spirit. It also helps us to build our own personal intuition, helps us to build our spiritual bond, as well as our connection to our own higher self, to our own higher consciousness, um, as well as our ancestors and other spirit guides as well. Um, and last but not least, it most definitely enhances our spiritual practice. It adds more purpose to the aspect of ritual as well, as we would divine to confirm that things are accepted or to also confirm if there's anything else that needs to be offered before the uh, offerings can be totally accepted. As well as the whole aspect of enhancing our spiritual practice because we allow spirit to divinely guide us directly um, and we build our own personal communication and personal relationship with spirit through the aspect of uh, communication through the apparatuses of OB divination. It helps us to know and not just to hope and pray and think and wish. So it brings clarity to our path most definitely. So these are most definitely some of the benefits that one can uh, gain from the practice. Uh, more benefits most definitely, but just a short video, short clip uh, to give you guys some basic information on some fundamentals for OB divination uh, and to answer any questions that one may have had and prayerfully that this has reached you in the most divine time and space. Ashe. If you want to learn more about OB divination, follow the link below. So, if you've enjoyed this video and benefited from any of the information posted, please don't hesitate to like and share, as well as subscribe to the channel, as there will be more consistent information coming forth for good spiritual practice. Always remember to love yourself, always remember to keep your ancestors first, and always remember, when in doubt, ask the shells.